Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings, and I welcome you to Let's Play Vision Quest. It's time for uh, chapter 1.6, which is called To Be a Hero. Storch escapes Port Irene after liberating the town from the pirates. While Graydon's right hand, Leslie, hunts down Storch as a criminal, the townspeople see a hero fighting off the bandits that plague Bellaro and know that they are mislabeled and wrongfully hunted by Graydon. Tales of Storch's exploits spread true Bellaro as a rallying cry for the change behind the hero of Port Irene, with Bellaro soldiers hot on their tail to depart for Port Oromov. A sleepy port to the south of Bellaro, this quiet hamlet would provide a reprieve, but it would only take a few weeks for their hiding spot to be uncovered. Outside the Rask, in the state of Bellaro. Eight years ago. Ooh! Larissa, where are you taking me? Oh, it's young Larissa and young Storch. That's adorable. It's a secret, my dear Storchinsky. <laughs> she calls him Storchinsky. <laughs> you, you know I don't like my full name. I'm just Storch. I'm just pulling your leg, Storch. Relax. I promise that I'll be worth that it'll be worth the trip. Would a girl like me ever stare you wrongly? Okay, I trust you. Wait. My brother is heading south today, back to port. I want to make sure I see him before he heads off. I'm sure Agustin won't leave without saying goodbye, Storch. I hope to, uh, to I hope to I get to see his Mahalan girlfriend Naya too. They're such a picturesque couple. Hey, are you saying we aren't? Not in the slightest. Oh, Storch. Are you two still squabbling? Brother, Naya, are you heading back to the border? Yeah, it was great to be back, but duty calls. The border won't guard itself, you know. Besides, Naya's getting homesick. As much as I liked your sword fighting lessons with Storch, I prefer the quiet life at home with you. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just like it always is, right, brother? Right. So, anyway, what are you two lovebirds up to today? Looking for a new makeout spot? Naya may be able to help you with that. Augustine! Larissa said we're going to head out for a bit to check out this cool place she found. Oh yeah? Where's that? It's a secret! I want Storch to see it with fresh eyes, it's so beautiful! I think I know where you're talking about. <laughs> Brother, you're in for a good time. It's a beautiful view, but be safe, you hear? There are, are, the air is fairly remote and bandits may come around. You got it, Augustine. We'll be careful. Besides, I want to come back and see you both off. I'm sure Marlin will too. Surprised the little guy's not sick of me yet. He's been clinging to my leg around the clock. He's an adorable child. Augustine, we should head back to your parents. I'm sure your mother would appreciate your help in the kitchen. She'd be wrong not to. <laughs> I can make a mean stew. Let's head back. Be safe, you two. Thanks, Augustine. See you later. Writing in this hack is so good. We've been walking forever, Larissa. Where is it? Almost there. Just by this cliff here. Look. Oh, wow. That's a great view of the sea. Isn't it lovely? Storch. I was hoping we could watch the sunset from here. Yeah, that'd be nice. Storch, what do you want to do when you grow up? Do you ever think about it much? I want to stay here and help my dad with the family farm. I'm not much of a fighter, like Augustine. And I hate to see Marlin grow up without either of us around. Yeah. A simple life sounds nice for a guy like me. Are you gonna take over your father's shop? Hasn't he taught you a few things? Yeah, my father wants to pass the shop over to me when he's ready to retire. He's teaching me all about commerce and being a smith, how to identify good iron, steel, stuff like that. He says people will try to rip me off because I'm a woman, but he's gonna teach me to know better. Nice and simple, right at home. Yeah, it sounds like a dream. Larissa, can I tell you something? I yes what is it? Well, it's just... I don't really know if I should say this, but I think it's time that I did. I mean, uh, I... Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> it's like, oh, tell me more, this is interesting, ah, uh, hey, tell her, what, 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 is she, what are you gonna tell her? <laughs> Can't find the words, can ya? Uh, ah, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, did I interrupt something? I didn't mean to ruin your evening, but you're both coming with me. Your kids will make fine hostages. Hostages? No way! You can't do that to us. Yeah, we won't let you. It's two on one. We can take him. Oh yeah? Think you're tough? Hey boys, these kids got some fight in them. There's more? Damn! Larissa, we have to run. Let's go. You're not gonna get too far. You can't win against me. But I can. Oh shit, he teleported behind him. Brother! How do you know to find us here? 
Let's say when a girl wants you to take you to a pretty place, this is by far the best. Look, there isn't much time, you need to run. Now! I'll hold them off. Naya! Take the kids and run! You're a blasted fool if you think you can take us on. Storch! What are you doing? I said to run! Larissa, come on, let's go! <laughs> ah! Come on, bring it on! Hm? Yeah. Damn, get him, boys! Just try us! You'll regret that! Ha! Ain't no way you louts are gonna harm my little brother! Oh, there we go. Ooh, boom! <laughs> That's a cool crit. Stop dawdling. Go, Storch! I said to run! Oh, all right, all right. Naya, I'm worried about my brother. He's outnumbered. We have to do something. Augustine will be fine. He's a trained soldier. We shouldn't dawdle for too long. Look, here he comes. You're hurt, Augustine. Just a few scrapes. We should be okay. Did you get rid of them, brother? Yeah, they won't be coming back to bother us any time. Augustine! Brother, no! Is that an arrow? Look out! Good riddance. There he is. He... He killed my brother! Augustine, oh why? Now nah, you can all come with me nicely or you can end up like the fool here. Never. Take this. What? She has a sword? <laughs> Idiots. We all got swords. <laughs> Gah. We should head back. Brother, he's gone. Stuart Chum, this isn't fair. Larissa, we shouldn't have come to this place. Stuart Chum, we never should have left town. If we had stayed put at home, Augustine, he'd still be... Stuart Chum, oh, Augustine. Can't sleep. Guess I should take over and watch. Storch? Your shift isn't for another hour. You should get some rest. Hey, Vagless. Sorry, having trouble sleeping tonight. How are you holding up? Not better, not worse. I'm doing what needs to be done. Wish I could be as stoic as you are, Vagless. This whole thing's just... it's crazy. Just a couple of months ago, we were hanging out on the farm. Drinking ale and having a good dull time. Now we're fugitives to some and heroes to others. Yes, this change has come rather quickly. I did not expect for us to become such high-profile prey for Lord Graydon himself. Yeah, I'm just trying not to let it get to me. That's like you said, we're going to... we're going... we're doing what needs to be done. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm-hmm. This is the hand we've been dealt this time. We must make the best of it. Mm-hmm. Say, Vagalus, how's your family taking all of this? You seldom speak about them. Feel like a bad friend... feel like a bad friend not asking. They're fine. My mother does what she can to take care of my sister. The gold I've earned has helped keep food on the table for them. Is your sister walking again yet? Been a while since I've come around. Nope. It's been a while since we've been able to take her to a physician. But the prospects are grim, her condition worsens. But she's resilient, she has not lost hope. Well, she certainly has a strong role model to look up to then, hey? You flatter me, Storch. I simply play my role. With my father being my father, I have to take care of the house. I'd be nothing but a derelict if I neglected to take care of them. Like I said, we do what we can with the hand we've been dealt. Speaking of which, it's been quite a while since we played cards. Remember that time when Esfer bluffed Arcadia with a pair of... Wait, Storch, did you hear that? Huh? Yeah, behind that barrel. Come out with your hands raised or you're dead. Don't move. Talk. Who are you? Can't find the words, can you? Don't play this game with me. I am not one for games. You're all under arrest. Do not resist. If you resist, you will- Ugh! You blasts! Damn, the other one got away. Not this again. Everyone, we got company. We found them. They hold up in an- they, They're hold up in an inn to, an, to the east. Excellent. Leslie will be most pleased when we bring back their heads. Let none of them escape. We'll all share the reward, men. Oh, ooh, survive chapter. Nice. Ooh, nice. I like it. Whew, 10 minutes of narration. Jesus. Mm -mm. Now, I will say, this hack's got some really fucking good writing. It's like, this this hack is like written like a book almost. Anyway, we have to bench two people. Um, let's take a look at the map. So it seems rather small. Yeah, there's not much going on here. But we're surrounded on all sides. I do love myself a good defense chapter. How long do we have to hold out? It doesn't say. 
I think Natsuko can probably set this one out. We do want Nassar because he's the boss. And Marlon, I feel like he's also kind of important here. Definitely want Esfer due to her increased line of sight. We want our healer for sure. He has a torch staff even, so that's great. Hmm. I do not like putting Marlon on the bench. I really don't. But at the same time, I, I won all of these guys. So I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do indeed. So we have a guy here to kill with our horse slayer, so that's nice. And we have pure water, so let's go! Ooh, I recognize the song. Ba ba ba, da da da, da da da, da da da. Da na 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 ba da. Great defense chapter song. I concur. This is good. Anyway, let's uh, light up the area. Ooh, lots of mages here. Lots of mages here. Something tells me we should. Uh, can I visit this inn? No, I cannot. Let's try this, shall we? I gotta say, I really love how you show the past between Larissa and Storch. It's quite quite insane, really, like how how well this hack flushes out his characters. I'm like kinda ship I'm shipping them right now. I kinda want them to find each other again. Anyway, we have a chat with Vagalus. Uh, let's see if we can do both. So uh, let's actually do a little bit of a shava shav, shava dub. We might also use the wizard bow against... No, wait, no, no, wait. The wizard bow isn't actually effective against mages. It's, uh, it, it targets rest. But we do have that battle axe that's effective. Anyway, we can talk. Did you really have to shoot him before we could finish talking? He's the enemy. We wouldn't blink twice... He wouldn't blink twice to do the same to either of us. Yeah, but... The cheetah... The cheetah doesn't flinch when she sinks her fangs into the gazelle. We should think like the cheetah. Or else we will end up like the gazelle. Yeah. You have a point, still. Wow. Vagalus, man. He's too deep for me. Mm -mm. Alright. Level up for storage. I still haven't used my goddamn stat boosters. I have, like, speed wings and shit. I don't know who would benefit a lot from that. I think Lara, honestly. Having, like, a mage that doubles sounds pretty sweet. I mean, she, I know she's, like, really close to doubling. So let's try doing this. Let's check out the speed of the enemies and see, like, how far she is away from doubling things. Because this guy, for example, has 11 speed, so we won't be doubling him, but we might be doubling the Cavaliers. Uh, yeah, actually, we will. We will actually be doubling the Cavaliers. So yeah, I'm gonna use the Ruby Sword here, simply because it does damage to kill. So again... With the fence trappers, I always like playing them really recklessly. I'm sure there's a boss somewhere here that will drop some nice gear. Knowing this hack, that sounds... Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I can shove him. I can shove him to safety. Here we go. Ooh. It's a little scary. It's a little scary. Wow. I don't know if the ruby sword, like, doubles weapon triangle disadvantages either. I'm guessing we're about to find out. Oh, is she gonna die? Oh, night. We're still still alive. We're still alive. Yeah, this is a defense trap draw, right? Sure feels like one. Oh, wait. How many turns do we have to survive? I didn't actually see. I didn't actually see. Yeah, let's go, Nassar. <clears throat> Whee! Ooh, I could give him the speed wings. Oh shit, they got freaking vibrance, really? That's harsh. Ah, I should have equipped the hand axe. That was kind of dumb. Ooh, okay. This is fine. This is fine. Again, I should definitely be on the lookout for stealables, because I know they're there. Alright, nice. So this pure water is coming in handy, at least. <laughs> Maybe I should just give the talisman to Larissa and just make her like an all-round tank. That does actually sound kind of nice. I, I, how is her resistance anyway? I should check. Oh, what's going on here? You drunken idiot. Where are we gonna sleep now? 
He shouldn't have tried to hit on you like that, do we? I can handle myself, Sri. Ha! <laughs> you would have never gotten out of Kuching if you were on your own. You need your good old brother to help you, right, sister? Ick! Sri, pay attention. It looks like we've been thrown out to a battlefield. At this time of night? I don't have time for this. I need to get to bed. We have no money left. You do realize that, right? Had you not tried to attack the barkeep, we wouldn't be in this mess. Right, spend our last bit of gold on that ale. Oh well, money comes and goes, right? Like, looks like we both may have found our next score. Okay, what do we have here? Sri, a fugitive from Kuching, Snarky and Loudmouth. His quick burn. So he gets 15 hit and avoid at the start of the battle, and he loses 1% per turn. And then we have Dewey. Ooh, she's pretty. A fugitive from Kuching. I, I know it's probably Kuching or something, but I, I just like to say Kuching. Amicable and Brazen. What? Is that a risk? Oh my god, that's a 15 use rescue stuff. <laughs> okay. Is it Storch who needs to speak to them? Yeah, okay. If I want to speak to them this turn, I'm going to have to shove him. I don't know how well that's going to go. But, uh, I can take out this guy at least. I mean, they'll fight on their own. It's not like I have to recruit them this turn. I mean, they'll be green units, and they'll be kind of annoying, and they'll run off and do stupid shit, but it should still be doable. Anyway, I oh, 11 turns. Okay, that's quite a lengthy defense chapter, actually. Ooh, goddess icon. Goddess icon, guys. Why do you have full inventory? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're going to kill this guy, and then I'm gonna deposit some stuff into the convoy, and then I'm gonna steal his goddess icon. We'll let the green units be green units for a little while. Surely they'll come come within my range. Maybe they'll recruit themselves. You never know. Could be helpful green units. Anyway, let's uh, put... We don't need the lockpick. I don't even know why I have that on me. Yoink! Thanks for the goddess icon. God, I love hacks that gives you, like, a lot of stealables. How is s first growths, anyway? Are they, like, Dragon-esque? No, they're pretty good. 30, 45, 50, 35, 15, 15, 65. I'd say they're probably a little bit lower than what you'd expect, but they're not, like, fu one Dragon type type growths. Oh, red gem on this guy. God, s is gonna be busy tonight. Anything else? Not that I can see right away. Alright, you are healed. Now let's uh, use that new axe I found, shall we? Yes, right. Moonracer. Uh, uh, <laughs> Take that. Take that. Hit points, strength, and speed. Uh, oh, I should check if there's any supports that I've got unlocked. Uh, no, no supports so far. I'm guessing they're building pretty slowly. Yeah, skewered. Oh yeah, I was gonna check out Larissa's uh, resistance to see if she is like worth giving her a uh, talisman. Ah, four resistance. So talisman will put it up to six. I do like the idea of an armor knight that can tank both magic and physical. Like universal tanks are always really nice to have around. Huh. All right. Well, um, I should have used the meth at the start of the battle. Now I'm gonna have to spend a turn using it if I want to get any good uh, volley out of it. I might not have time for it. It depends on how like aggressive the enemies are in this chapter. Anyway, let's do this. Bye bye. Wonder if this hack's gonna change up its battle music at some point. I guess we'll find out. Ooh, I hope I can get Esper in range to steal. I could also give the speed wings to Storch, because he's also like really close to doubling, but I have a feeling he's gonna get there at some point anyway. Alright, we got a Vyvern. If I can't reach her in time, then at least I can shove, I think. That would be nice. Hit points, strength, defense, and resistance. Oh, hi. <gasps> no! Green! Oh, what the? What are you doing? This hero has a bit of fight in him. Let's see how he handles Belara's finest of cavalry. Bring in the reinforcements. Surround them from all sides. Stupid fucking green unit. That was... <laughs> God, I hate it when green units fucking take my stuff. 
the most aggravating shit in the world. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, light a torch so we can see more about what's going on here. And I have to save those green units before they kill themselves. Um... Okay, I have to take out this guy. And then I have to sh have to shove Storch up twice, I think, for, for him to get in range. I wonder, do, does Iron Ball have a better stats in this game, or do Vagalus just have better bases than most archers? Let's find out. Uh, 785. I... Feels better? 1070? Maybe not? I don't know. I don't remember the the stats of the Iron Bow right off the top of my head. Yeah, anyway, I can reach him now. Nice. Hey, what are you two doing out here? They're after us. You should go hide. No need for no need to no need for you to risk getting hurt. We can handle ourselves just fine, thanks. This ain't no big deal. We survived worse. Who are you fighting at this time of night, though? Why are these soldiers after you? We're hunted by the states, and they see us as a threat. Sounds familiar. Quiet. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Storch, and you are. I'm Dewey, and this is my twin brother, Sri. We're travelers from Kaching. Actually, I think I have an idea. Let us fight with you. Huh? Really, sister? He can use protecting, and we can use money. That's easier for you to say. You just heal people with your staff. I end up doing all the actual fighting. Kaching, your name... You come, came so far to come to this dinky place? Whatever the case. I'm not sure I can pay you very much, but you're welcome to stick around. We can discuss terms later. Well met, Storch. I think this will be a fruitful partnership. Aw, oh, heck, this is why you should let me do the talking, sis. <laughs> Shove. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at these two new guys, shall we? So here we have Sri. Killer bow, nice. Hanbo. This is like the short bow of this hack, I guess. Uh, C rank in bows, that's kind of nice. Let's look at this growth rate. 45 strength, 50 speed, that's pretty nice. 35 lock, 20 defense, 20 resistance. I like Quick Burn, it's a decent skill. And this girl's got 45 magic, 45 speed, 35 skill, kinda low skill. Decent luck, very low defense, decent resistance, kinda low HP. And she has Bond, ooh, okay. So she heals everyone around her. Honestly, like, Bond is nice, but I feel like it's very annoying sometimes, because you, <laughs> you'll just spend a lot of time watching people heal like 2 HP. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's uh, start healing, shall we? Whee! So, um, I want to see if I can place a torch somewhere. I don't particularly care if this guy goes for me. Because uh, I got a lot of resistance anyway. Let's see if we can find the boss. Let's see. Oh, uh, there he is. Houston, commander of a cavalry unit in Belaro's army. He has pursuit two, and it drops an axe reaver. Well, I'm gonna make it my mission to try and kill this guy. So you know how I be. Uh, yeah, let's try it. I mean, we should still have some of that pure water on us, so why don't we do this and swatch, swap to a javelin. Yeah, screw your weapon triangle, I don't give a shit. And then maybe he can even kill him. Ooh, he can. Of course, if we're gonna do that, then uh, we're gonna have to back off for else the Vibrant. Ooh, nice one. Bang. Wait, what? Did his class have a different name? It's not named Nomad, is he? Oh, Bow Scout. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, hmm. I guess I can shove him to safety, but I don't really see the point. If the Vyvern wants to go for him, let's have the Vyvern go for him. But yeah, that's a lot of enemies. Ow! That actually hurts. Hmm. Yeah, 23 hits. What are we talking about? Okay, so uh, I think this is gonna be a two-parter, because we're like in three, we're like in, um... Oh no, what? why did I not equip a javelin? What the hell? Because uh, we're like on turn four right now out of 11, so this is gonna take some time. Oh, what's going on here? I don't know what that was. It was something bad, I think. Anyway, Bond is kind of working out here. Yeah, look at that. Bond is like healing everyone. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. I mean, I guess it's a nice skill. That's a lot of passive healing all the time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I will... 
I almost said cancel. I'll cancel you all here, and uh, we will continue tomorrow with the rest of this defense chapter. Take care, stay safe, I love you all. Bye-bye.